This is how I made this video, which blew up. a number of you guys have kept on asking me how 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 did i make this video so before i start huge shout out to edward of his version was so cool and i was like i had to recreate it in my own way so to start off i recorded myself in the living room and once i was done recording myself in the living room i then decided to walk over to pray the scanning the living room using polycam I couldn't use LiDAR because I have the base iPhone 11 so I was forced to use photo mode and the quality wasn't that good. At that point, the only choice I had was to use that 3D scan as reference to actually remodel the entire living room in Blender. With my not so great modeling skills, a ton of kit bash assets from Blender Kit and helping my friend who is an architectural visualization artist, I was able to recreate the scene in 3D. Then the next step was the character in the scene but lucky for me, I already had a 3D model of myself which I made like 6 months ago for another project so all I just did was to make a few changes to that character, bring it back into Blender, animate it how I wanted to animate it, take that character out from Blender into marvelous designer then get some free outfits from the marvelous designer store simulate it and then bring it back into blender put it onto the character and that was done once the outfit was done i moved on to grooming the hair and beard and once i was done with that i moved on to you know finishing the entire outfit so i went to look for some shoes i got these free shoes from sketchfab credits to this guy they looked really good so and then i got a watch and then glasses and bro just look at this guy bruh hey riz so at this point i actually forgot to mention that i also did some particle simulations on the character's hand and shoes okay so once the character was ready i then moved on to adding some details into the scene to make it more immersive i basically just did clothes simulations for the curtains in the scene and i just made a couple of things in the scene float up at a certain point and for the finishing touches i added this cool glitching overlays to the scene this butterfly model from sketchfab and also this jellyfish model from sketchfab and that part was done the next challenge was for me to light the scene and I won't lie, lighting this was really really hard most especially because the camera would be moving around the character and making it look good from every angle was a huge challenge but after a couple of hours I was able to get something that I thought was fine. The next challenge was the camera animation just to make sure the first frame is the same with the video before the transition and then animate the camera however you want to animate it and I actually spent like 4 hours and animating this camera so once i got this result i was fine with it and so all that's left now is to render off from blender in which i averaged around a minute and 25 seconds to around a minute 30 seconds to render one frame at 256 samples 1080p resolution and 60 fps when i brought my render back into after effects i matched it with the real life video at the transition point and did all the effects i needed to do to make it look cool shakes glows all that fancy stuff i also did sound effects and as i was about to round off i got this cool idea to make the video looped so I recorded my hands with my phone and then used Element 3D in After Effects to quickly composite a 3D phone in front of my hand in order to create the loop. Um, yeah, that was practically it. If you want a more detailed version to this breakdown, you can check my YouTube. It should be up soon or already up. And yeah, so my name is Olam Mari. I'm a video editor, visual artist, and 3D artist from Lagos, Nigeria. And 